Hi everyone, I wanna welcome you to day five of the challenge. And I'm so happy to be here today with Durga, who is an acupuncturist here in Bermuda at Spa Oasis. Thank you Tiffany for having me and to share some uh, challenge. And thank you, this is a great uh, motivation so to us to uh, start the new year. Yes. yes, yeah, a great way to start the new year. And just to let you know too, Durga is my acupuncturist. <laughs> I have all of my friends here this week on the challenge, uh, but it's great. So we'll begin first, I guess, Durga, we'll let you kind of get into uh, loving awareness. So what was something in that category that really kind of touched you? Yes, uh, being as an acupuncturist, you know, um, we give a lot, you know, so we help each other. And when you do that also, it's very important to self-care, right? Self-love is very important. Um, it's like, you know, again, it's a, we care for the person's uh, energy, well-being, so as much as also to recharge for ourselves, right, and to grounding, and uh, to love ourselves. Yeah, I love that self-care. You know, it's so important, and I've probably we've both had to learn it as a healthcare Absolutely. profession Perfect. that yeah. we need to do it because when you're constantly giving, you're depleting yourself Absolutely. all the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's why it's also to recharge, and also we just remind us that we give, we care for others, but also it's important for us to care for ourselves. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's so great, and you know, I see that a lot too with mothers. I think because women are ten to be more the carers in the family as well. Yeah. And you probably see that a lot, would you say, with your with your patients that come in? Oh yes, absolutely. That's why like, you know, when it comes to the acupuncture, uh, the women are more receiving to the acupuncture. I mean, it's, it's everyone, but they are more looking for help, right? right? So because they, just, they just go through a lot of changes, like with the Mother Earth, like, you know, all the, how the seasons work through. Um, so that's why like, it's it's nurturing. So it's changes there, so that's, that's the acupuncture is also very good. It really helps. Yeah. Yeah. So then moving on then to kind of the food and nutrition. So the narrowed feeding window. Was there anything in this category that um, kind of that you do or are striving to do? Yeah, um, for me the, the one most important is I also tell every of my patients how much water do you drink, right? And because hydration is, is very, very important and we don't put it that as our priority, right? Um, like in a 75% we need to drink water, right? And, and like, you know, when you're living in the uh, society, so that's like, you know, it's all about what I want, when I want, how I want, we do that, but we don't see ourselves what my body needs, right? So the hydration is a key thing, so that's basically, that's, I always advise is to drink lots of water. Half of your body weight in ounces, that's your daily requirement. Additionally, if you drink like uh, caffeine or any other uh, uh, other drinks, the maximum amount of water to add into your category so that you get enough putting fluid to your system. Right, so half the body weight in water in ounces yes. and then replace if you're having coffee. And I tell my patients that as well because they're like, does coffee or tea work or does it count? I'm like, right. no, because it actually will dehydrate you. Dehydrate, more. yes. Well, I give it sometimes even like tea or like juices, you know, they said, oh, I'm drinking enough, but it's not water. Is, it has to be pure water. Yeah, and in Bermuda, we can sometimes find pure water. Sometimes if we get good roof water, right. but in other areas, you're right, uh, good quality water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So then what about autonomic pairing? So, you know, as an acupuncturist, I know Durga is, is working on the autonomic nervous system. And for those that don't understand it, this is our, our automatic system, our stress -free system, which is the sympathetic, and then the rest um, relax and digest, or the parasympathetic nervous system. So kind of in this category, working with the nervous system, what's the one thing that you try to focus on? Yeah, uh, for this, um, like, you know, identifying the things, the people and anything that, that triggers you. Right? <laughs> and that's one of the most, most common we all face every day. And for this, the one thing is we are always fear of one thing is that you want to happen that will not happen, right? one thing uh, you want to not to happen that will happen right? so that kind of fear of the future fear of the future right. and that does affect our nervous system so how do people you know when they I guess identifying the trigger is the first thing right mm -hmm. to see that it's present right mm -hmm. 
So for that, um, you know, it's it's a grounding. That's something I always talk about. It's grounding, and so if you ground, and then you rectify actually what is the overgoing, what is your your limitation, right? Right. So the then that will give you the little bit more eye opening to look after yourself, mm -hmm. because it's you know our nervous system is is something that is keep a nonstop. Right. Yeah, it's constantly going, right? Constantly going. Yeah. Yeah. So when you say grounding, because some people here might not understand what you mean by grounding. A grounding my, means like simple way also to say like, you know, we are on the, on the earth, right? And like, so when it comes to the um, Chinese medicine as well, we talk about the yin and yang, mm -hmm. the five elements, the meridians, mm -hmm. like that. So the, like the masculine and feminine energy, like it's, let's say the earth is a feminine and the sun is the masculine. Okay, so the earth is feminine and sun is masculine. masculine. I did not know right, that. Right. So then, earth is that's where you ground, right? where it is stable, mm -hmm. where the sun is moving. Right. That's a masculine, that's a yang energy, mm -hmm. right? So if you are allow, allow yourself, your feet are on your ground, that's one key thing as well, you are at the ground. Right? And for also other things like breath, also that's very important. Right. Right, that's to calm your nervous system. Then that's why, like, when it comes to the breath, um, you know, most of the time we breathe through the chest. Right. So the if you breathe through your diaphragm, your costal breathe, that's the way you should be breathing. Right. So when I'm lying on the table, that's what Durga says to me when I've got like needles stuck all over my body. He's like, okay, breathe. And I put my hand on my belly, right? That's what you get us to do uh, during a session. And I really focus on abdominal breathing. Absolutely. That really helps with the grounding. Yeah, because when it comes to the breathing as well, like, you know, the, the yogic say, uh, the prana is, is a quality of your life. Prana is the essence of breathing, right? So the yogi says the quality of breath you have, the quality of life you live. The quality of breath you have, the quality of life you live. Right. I love that. Yes. And it's, but how many people are looking for something more? But the breath is that fundamental thing that we have. Absolutely. You come with the breath and you go with the breath. And this universe now. Right. And that's what is holding us. Mm -hmm. But we take it as a granted. And we don't do it crazy. Like, if you look at the babies, right? And when they sleep, and every time they breathe, the belly goes up yes. and down. Yeah. That's the way of breathing. Mm -hmm. But as we stop with our life, and our breathing sit. And let's say if you see a tiger or something, and that's a fear and fright mode happens, mm -hmm. right? And you breathe, your breathing patterns then from your chest. So when that happens from your chest, because you are fighting. It's your, that fight or flight mode. mode. And you, if you keep doing that, that's all the time. It's, that affects your autonomic system. Okay, so we need to switch out of fight or flight, so out of the chest breathing, yeah. and get ourselves back into to belly breathing. To belly breathing again. Yeah. Yeah. That's very important. And that's why I tease almost every of my patients how to breathe. Mm -hmm. And that actually makes a big, big change. It's a small thing, but it makes a big change. And like you said, it's the breath that we come with and the breath that when it's gone, we're off, we're not here anymore. Yeah, yeah. So it is the key to life and to energy. To life. Okay, I'm glad we talked. I <laughs> hope everyone now understands autonomic nervous system and the breath from an autonomic nervous system expert here. <laughs> so then I guess rest and recovery, because sometimes this can follow kind of a similar, is, so what is the best way or what tips do you have when it comes to rest and recovery? Rest and recovery, like now again, you know, um, we are living in the technology world. Right? Right? <laughs> devices. Devices and screen and all that. So that's our serotonin is like, you know, it's, it's our balance. So serotonin is our, yeah. kind of one of our feel good hormones. Our feel right? good hormones. Yeah. So that's why we are constantly stimulating and when we feel not getting good enough sleep, and that drives us and your body is not producing that. It's that fundamental thing to be able to get the sleep at night to kind of balance out oh, yeah. the technology yeah. and everything. So that's what I like, and thank you for this uh, putting out because this is, uh, I encounter working with so many doctors, but this is something come up with this amazing. Thank you.
Thank you. Well, you're welcome. I, and you know, really, if I find it's having tips for patients yes. because so many times, you know, we can be, um, people can kind of go in and out and it can be a variety. So some people need to hear a different message. Right. And also I love it when we have different messengers right. that can come to deliver the message oh, really, too. Really, this is something that's unique and thank you. And that's why I like to engage as well. So that's for me is education is key thing. As much as what we do, we share, we teach and educate. So that's why you're doing it, you know, what is the reason you're doing it as well. Right, when people understand, yeah. then they're much more apt to continue it on or take on, it as yeah, a habit. Yeah, because when you're looking for a knowledge, you can seek out knowledge everywhere that's out there. But are we doing that practically? Are you practicing that in our day-to-day -day life? That's very important. Right. It's funny, they talk once about how many people watch, you know, cooking shows and cooking videos, but then they compared it to how many people actually made the meal, meal. and people like to watch the show but never make the healthy meal. <laughs> Absolutely, that's it. Like because when it comes to knowledge, you're sick, you try to get as much as you can, but are you practicing that? Right. Right. So that's why, like again, when you when I talk about like, the breath, breath, everybody talks about it. Right. And like, I'm sorry as well, I'm, I'm saying that, I would actually like to make that change that if we do it from the, the belly, it makes a huge difference, right? And same with the sleep as mm -hmm. well, right? The rest is very important part of our life. And that's why I'm hoping, you know, this week for those that are watching that, you know, there's lots of great takeaways here. And just pick, even if you pick one of these to start to work on and to start to focus on every day, every day yeah. you'll start to see the changes and right. then it's going to become right. just an automatic right. habit. Sometimes it's, again, it's a habit. As well. it's, it's a habit of thoughts and habit of living. Okay, habits of thoughts up here and then habits of living. living. Right. So that's why we have to make that like discipline to ourselves. That's right. You use the word discipline. And I said that the other day with the patient because they said, I have no motivation. And I said, that's fine. You may never get the motivation, but you need the discipline. Absolutely. Because if Absolutely. you say in your mind, yeah. I am going to do this and then you start it, right? You have the discipline to do that in your life. Absolutely, if, if you're going to do it, it's like, there's nothing is impossible. If you really yes. want to make it happen, you can make it happen. Right. But how much effort are you going to do it? <laughs> that's right, and who wants to put the effort in, right? That's, and that's and it, that's, to challenge it's yourself. us. We have to take ourselves in control. So that's uh, like, you know, the first thing is get uh, get out of the bed and try to get the sunshine. Right. So morning sunlight, that's stimulate your brain. Stimulate your brain. So that actually can help you to even fall asleep. Right. Yeah, these fundamental principles that, again, we're looking so far outside ourselves for the big things we need to do. But we have ourselves. Yeah. Like that. And we not make advantage of those. And you're looking for a great things, but there's nothing. Just if you master this, you are the, your own mastery of everything. Mm. Okay, so folks, you need to think about this. To be the, your own master, you have to master your body. Pick one or two things that you can begin to master and you'll start to see incredible changes, Absolutely, right? absolutely. Because this, are, again, it's nothing you need to, uh, like science, science or anything. It's, a, it's, it's our habit of, again, as I say, habit of thoughts and habit of living. And it's so true, thoughts and living, you know, 25 years I've been working, I spent 20 in emerge, emergency room, um, you know, fixing people up. But when it comes to health overall yeah. and prevention, it is our mind. And it's, this is the greatest organ that we're not using. Absolutely. Really, we haven't tapped into the potential of this because it has the ability to change really all of our body. All of our body. And then this is what is start to happen as well. And then that affects your gut. And that's, again, it's with your, the vagus nerves and autonomous systems, like breathing, hydration, sleep, you know, it's the grounding, all that. So if we take consideration, you, you can overcome with everything. Right, so we've got, so breathing, vagus nerve, which could be a whole topic in itself, this long nerve long in the body, mm -hmm. um, but sleep, hydration, your thoughts. You know, it's it's all controlled. It's it, the body is all connected, kind of. and I think that's the one thing I've learned as well through the years. Um, and I've studied a little bit of you know traditional Chinese medicine, and and but seeing that the the energy that we have within our body, how everything is connected, and sometimes it gets tough when you know patients come into me and they'll have one symptom here and one symptom there, 
and they say, oh doc, I have too many things on my list, but it's like, I wanna know what your list is because your list is gonna help me to see the pattern. Because this is what we look at, you know, in, in medicine is we look at the patterns, what is the connection, and then that helps us get to the root or the underlying yeah, right. problem. That's it. So that's it, like, you know, your body talks to you as well every day when you wake up. If it's hurt something, you're not feeling well, you're feeling tired, uh, you're not getting sleep, your body's talking to you, but we don't listen to them. <laughs> that's true. We don't listen to our body. Yeah. We, we complain about it or, or we ignore it yeah. until the next thing you, happens. You massacre them, right? <laughs> And once it comes to the certain points where you can't cope with anymore, and only you seek out for help. And by that time, it's gonna be a bit too late, it's not. People get to the crisis point well, before they wanna make the change. Make the change. So wake up in the morning, key things. Look at the sunshine, but listen, how do I feel today? How is my day starting? So, you know, in the workbook that people have this week, it's getting up in the morning and kind of just saying, where's my focus gonna to go today? Because if we start on each of our days with that, having this little survey, a quick of our body, and say, where do I want to focus? Where do I want to put my energy, energy. today? Yeah, yeah. And that's where, like, again, the, me uh, the meditation is a point, right? Yeah. And that's, again, it's a fundamental. I mean, we can be meditating while you're walking, while you're driving, like, and that is it's the way you're doing. But it's, for that, we have to connect ourselves. So meditating connects us Within, to, yourself. within ourselves, yes. right? Not taking it from the external, external just to be in You can have any kind of answer you're looking for yourself. You can have an answer to yourself because you just need to get connected. And some people think that they can't meditate, but I tell them it's it's the art of paying attention. We don't have to always, like you said, we don't have to con see, sit completely still, right. but just developing a body awareness, a connection of what's really going on right. inside. It's all about your sifting your thoughts. Because thoughts are processing, like, just like you know, there is no non struggle. So, for that, you just have to go to like sift it. What's you holding you here now? So, either you can focus on your breath or focus on your thoughts, what's happening within you. So, just that gentle shift, shift or. Yeah. And then, if you keep practicing that, and then you will get more and more. You don't have to go and sit hours of sitting in lotus position to the <laughs> meditation. That's right. That's right. It can start just at home, yeah. five, ten minutes sitting on your couch. Right. But as long as you just start to pay attention, and the breath is such a great way to begin that. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's where, like, the, you have to start with the baby steps mm -hmm. to get where you want to be. Because sometimes we just want to get there. And that is our. Right. People want to feel better overnight right. when it maybe took you know 10 or 20 or 60 years Absolutely. because of the conditions that they've had within the body. Absolutely. You know, I've often said, as I studied more the breath now, like if we could package anything, if there's so many pills on the market, there's so many drugs that are out there that are worth you know hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. But guess what? The breath is free. It's within <laughs> all of us. You just need to practice it. It's better than any baby aspirin you're going to take any day. Absolutely. Um, it is fundamental. And we know it through scientific research. Now we have so much that shows the impact of the breath on the body. The immune system, the, our stress response, you know, cancer, you know, weight, which is why a lot of people are here this week, right. um, holding on to cortisol by, by fundamentally work on the breath. That's, that's the key thing. Like, in the, like when you say yoga, it originated from India. And if you look at the India and the West, um, the yoga, like about 60% of the population practice yoga. Wow, 60%? Yes. In India, yeah. And, um, I mean, in the, into the West now. Mm -hmm. So people are getting so much into it, which mm -hmm. is really great. Yeah. But the key thing, again, are we doing it correctly? Right? Mm -hmm. And so that's what, like, you know, making sure that we do it correctly. That's the only thing I talk about. So maybe we'll um, we'll post a video maybe for people that want to see just a basic basic breath practice, um, so a little something that they could follow along with after. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. would be great. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So cool. So when we come to the last one, I think we're down now to joyful movement. Right. Um, now I know Dirk is on his feet a lot of the day because he's as he's doing acupuncture. But what do you do for movement yourself? Ways to express yourself. What do you like to do? Yeah. Um, for me, the the any kind of moves. That's again, like you know, that's um, 
now again with the technology our posture is sitting posture yes posture <laughs> is sitting and for that it's like most of the time the, the like you know the i see the face with the x and pains like that either not using it or overusing it okay kind of the under they yeah. on either end of the spectrum rather than coming to a medium, medium ground with right, movement right. so that's what we just have to find a way to balance it you know? right and simple movements walking right walking yeah or like you know to practice like uh, tai chi yoga mm -hmm. like you know so any like you know even dance okay. anything that keeps you move to have your blood flow right. comes up you are that way comes because you don't have to if you do yoga you don't have to do headstands or anything <laughs> simple gentle stretching that keeps you going right. It's funny because so many people think that yoga, they can't go to the classes because all these people will be there, like you said, doing handstands and everything else. But just a gentle introduction. And again, we'll post, we'll post a very gentle yoga routine that you can do, yeah. as well as a Tai Chi routine. Um, you know, I practice Qigong and I know for me, it was actually quite transformative to practice Qigong. Right. Um, and so the, the slow movements, it doesn't always have to be fast, but it's focused movement. That's right. a key right. part of it. Because, you know, we have the, the chakras, we have our meridians, mm -hmm. right? As long as you keep activate them by gentle movement. So th that's it. If the energy flow, the blood flow is happening, that's what you want to get the most out of. Right. right. It's all about the flow, all right? Because blockages, that's where the disease happens. So uh, that's basically the, the element that starts mm -hmm. from there. Yeah. Well, this has been great, and Durga and I could talk forever. I hope you've enjoyed this, everybody. And just before we finish up for today, do you have a word that you would like to leave us with, Durga? Yeah, um, like again, constantly talking, uh, I would say, what, uh, I would say like connect. Connect. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Connect. And that's what we've been doing. And this is what we've been doing all week together as well. So thanks everybody for watching. This is the end of our five day challenge, but stay tuned because tomorrow we will be announcing the prizes for those that have been watching the videos all week long. And uh, thanks once again, Durga, hope to see you soon. Thank you for having me and thank you. Yes. Okay, bye for now. Bye, thank you.